Hi, Ryan Steinelson here, and I am just responding to a question that Jen Ranieri asked regarding, she, she had asked, how do I get a high ranking on Google searches simply and cost effectively? So the answer to that question, Jen, is, is, is fairly simple. It really involves two things, and this is, I've, I've learned this from my, from my business partner, David Sprague, and um, what we've done is, is there's really two things. There's off-page and on-page optimization. So, and this is a great example. This is a website for that we designed for one of our clients. This is kind of our older version of our website. We've got a much cleaner version of this now. But I just wanted to show you the reason why I'm showing you this is because I want to show you a great example of on-page optimization. You can see here how the how the word chiropractor friends with Texas is used in the title there. It's also used in the first sentence here. And it's used throughout this this article that is probably close to 500 words, and I don't know what. Ooh, let me just go back there. Anyway, so you can see that it's used multiple times here in the last sentence. So, just to summarize, to, to give you an idea, or just to in a few words, let you know what what on-page optimization it is. It what on what it is is it's simply the frequency and the order in which keywords are used on the page or on the content that you want to get ranked, whether that's a blog or a video or an article, whatever it is, it's the utilization of keywords in a certain way and they need to be placed and they need to be used in a, in a certain frequency, in a certain order, and in a certain way. And when you do that, and what happens is, is Google will, will basically pay attention to your content and it will rank your content appropriately. And of course, you know, obviously, it does sound a little awkward when you when you're trying to rank content, for example, for a city like Friendswood, Texas. It it you know the the content starts to sound a little bit awkward. But it, what really matters is is we want to give Google what it wants because ultimately, if we give Google what it wants, then we know that we'll get to this potential this client's um, clients. In other words. If we give Google what it wants in terms of the correct keywords being used on the page, then ultimately it will match us up with, with the, the clients that we're looking to get. Um, and that's really the, the name of the game. So again, on-page optimization is the correct utilization of keywords on the web page or the video, etc. And then the, the second part of this is the off-page optimization. And I'm going to show you a quick example. Off-page optimization, I'm going to go to the Bloomfire account uh, website here. Off-page optimization is simply the number of links that come from other websites that link back to your content. So all things being equal, the person or the website or the content that has the most links back to it wins. Every link is like a vote. So the more links you have, the more votes you have, the higher the ranking that you'll have. But ultimately, on-page and off-page optimization have to work together. You're only as strong as your weakest link. So if you have a weak link in your on-page optimization, but you have a very strong off-page optimization, you're still not going to rank very high. You need to have both of them together, good, solid keyword utilization on the page, and great off-page optimization in terms of links back to your content. If you have both of those, the more links, if you have great content, the more links you have, the better off you are. Now, here's a great example of how you can get those links. If it's really just by simply engaging with your community. So if you're talking, if, if you're an expert on pizzas, well, you want to go to blogs that are about pizzas. And you want to make sure that when you, when you go to other pizza websites or blogs that talk about pizzas, then you want to make sure that you leave comments and you put, for example, right here, you put your name, your email, and your website address. So there's your link. When this gets posted, you're going to have a link that comes from this website and goes to your website down at the bottom in the comments section. That's off-page optimization. Another great example is if another way that you can engage with your, with your community and, and be the expert that you are and, and answer questions, you can go to Yahoo Answers. And the same thing, you know, every, what you can do is you can incorporate your website address in 
either the posts that you are, are creating or when you create posts, a lot of times they'll allow you to put in your signature file, like I do here for the Warrior Forum. This is a, a forum that I engage other people in my community with. I, I go here and I learn more about online marketing. Well, when I create blog po or when I create forum posts, they allow me to use a, all these links, all these links that go back to my website and the content that I want to rank high, they allow me to put a link, all these links in my signature file. So every time that I create a forum post, that's just one more opportunity for me to have a backlink to my content. So really, and this is what Google's looking for, it's looking for the amount of engagement that you have in your community. The more blog comments you make, the more forum posts you make, the, the more forum profiles that you create, because when you create a forum profile, when you create a forum profile in these forums that you're a member of, or for example, on Yahoo Answers, then that's a backlink. Same thing with videos. When you create a video, here's a video of mine, okay? In the description of the video, you can put a link. This is a backlink. Anytime that you create a video, you always wanna put a link back to your website in the description of the video. That's, again, that's another, that's just another backlink. The other way that you can get backlinks is with by article marketing. So Ezine Articles is one of the biggest article marketing sites out there. What they do is they allow you to use what's called a resource box. In the resource box, you can put two, sometimes even three links back to your content. Now that link can go back to a blog post, it can go back to a video, it can go back to anything. But this is why article marketing can be so powerful and it has been for a long time is because you can you can create content and syndicate it out to multiple article directories and get multiple links back at one time back to your content. And then finally, here's a great example. Okay, here's a blog. I don't even know what this blog is about, but you can see here, these are links. Okay, these links go back to your content. Now, this link is going to this ClickFox site. Now, this one is going to, you can see down at the bottom, it's going to a website called Read Write Web. And obviously, what they want to rank for is this keyword. This is called your anchor text, unleashing the power of customer data. So they want to rank for that keyword. And the reason I know that is because the link that's going back to their content is using these words in it. So if you want to rank for pizza, for example, if you want to have a blog post that you have that ranks to rank for pizza, then you want to make sure that other people that put your that put your link in their blog content, you want to make sure that the link that's in their blog has the is has the word pizza in it, just like they're using this keyword unleashing the power of customer data. So I hope that makes sense. All these are links to other websites. These this is off-page optimization, okay? And then down here, I want to show you these comments. Here's some examples. This guy, Jim Shamlin, this is a link. So he created a blog post comment, and this link goes back to jim.shamlin.com. So what he's doing is he's building backlinks to his content just by engaging with his community. And this is how Google is, is basically determining how to rank your content. If you, the more engaged you are, the more comments you leave, the more forum posts you leave, the more links that are out there that link back to your content. Now, I hope that makes sense. If you have any other questions, leave me a, a comment or a question or whatever. We have developed systems that will allow you to know exactly how many or how, yeah, how many keywords and in what order and what frequency you want to use them. It's very important that you have some sort of a system and, and that's what we've done is we've developed systems or software to make sure that you can create content that's keyword optimized every single time. It basically, the system that we've developed gives you a grade. If you do not, if you do not use the keyword in the right place, in the right order, it'll tell you. When you do use the keyword correctly, it'll, get, it'll increase your score. And at the end, it gives you a score of basically between 0 and 100. The closer to 100% you are, the better. So... Um, you want to, that's the kind of system that you want to use to make sure that you're doing your on-page optimization correctly. And um, in, there's also ways to, um, to facilitate getting more backlinks to your content. 
and we can discuss that more later. But hopefully this gives you a good answer. And uh, let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.